thank you for joining me for the last episode of School for the Fool. Twin Flame reading of December. I can't believe it's gone by so fast. I, uh, it was nice to take some time off over the holidays. I was very ill and I was cleansing. I was working very hard and, you know, I thought, I thought I was at a really good spot and then it was like source and the universe said, you still got to clean some things up and it was like anywhere where I had some like leftover crumbs in a dark corner or something that a cobweb that needed to be cleaned up source was bringing it out and showing it to me and putting it to my face so I could really refine myself and I could really see my pathways clearly and not only could I see my pathways clearly what I actually needed to do to finish refining myself and look we're never done growing we're never done that's when we pass over. I don't know what happens officially then, right? I guess I'll find out. But we do grow in cycles. We do learn, we have ups and downs. And I can feel that this really was the end of a cycle for me and really for me to step into something new, to step out of maybe the void, the cocoon that I was creating in. And then to be hit with so much sickness, you really are thankful for your health and where you're at and what you're doing. And um, this twin flame journey is no joke. Purification um, is part of the process. It's part of the process. You gotta purify your life, purify your body, purify your mind, master yourself out, figure yourself out. But anyways, all on that, let's do this last reading of 2018 and see what 2019 has to bring in. We're going to start with the Divine Feminine Energy and um, start, start with the Divine Feminine Energy first. As we know, feminine energy creates in the void. And then we apply sun energy, which is masculine. And voila. Two hearts. Starting off with two hearts, I guess. Five of swords and strength. See, divine feminine, this is strength, okay? This is the feminine energy having the strength to face the darkness, to face the demons, to face the lack of, to actually really go and make things happen, even if it's scary to face fears, um, to figure out things in the home, to change roles, to really step up and use her masculine energy. One sec, please. Oh. To really step up and use her masculine energy. And then I really see this as the five of swords, the divine masculine. It's almost like her facing her fears and transmuting the darkness and really applying that sun energy to her life, that masculine energy to her life to balance herself out. It's like that 
five of swords that's forcing the divine masculine energy to evolve to blossom to he's really put down his weapons and he's really figured out he's connected to her through the universe he's done fighting he's trying to figure it out that's because of her strength because we're connected we are connected everything that each of us do in our lives the work we do it's connected to one another and King of Wands. And on the bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands, everyone. That is the Four of Wands. No. This is what we're leaving behind in 2018, the devil energies, really the ego energies, living so selfishly, we're not filling our cups, we can't see our own faces. We have masks for a different day of the week and really the twin flame path, you take them all off. You look at yourself in the mirror and then you look at yourself within and the journey is within. And remember, please, everyone is unique. We are all here to heal and mend and change the world in a different way because the world is multidimensional as well as we are. Okay, now, the devil. It's time to go. The king of wands energy is now the masculine energy applied to the female energy right because the female energy has had to learn how to do left brain things be logical figure out point a to point b um lead the way show the way we like female energy has to be leaders with the torches lit and balance emotions biggest biggest key to this journey is balancing your emotions that is part of mastering yourself ending codependency making the big moves making the big steps of deciding what you really want and going for it going after it that's what a male energy does it is action oriented the king of wands is the sun sun energy fire power now we're going to go after it um, Divine Feminine, look, that is the Four of Wands. That is the creation of stability. That is now, the Divine Feminine energy has now created something stable in the void. And not only that, like I love how she's balancing in this card and um, the birds there to show spirits here spirits always been here. We've got the um, Pyramids in the background like this card speaks Volumes look at all of the Sun energy This is leaving this to this by doing this And being in this energy. Being in that energy to achieve it. 
Wow. And then we got the forward motion, right? The achievement of balance. The dark and the light. The yin and the yang. That is now knowing those gears. To master yourself. Knowing those vibrations. How to bounce back and forth between them and do the work. All right. Now let's see the masculine. The divine masculine energy. King of Coins. That would be the King of Pentacles. What I love about this card is it's the pillars are 11. So the masculine energy I see awakening. The emerald over his third eye. Third eye activation, some sort of awakening. And then I love the pentacle on his lapel here, like on his chest, right here. It's here. It's, it's not in his pocket. And this man looks very humbled now. Very humbled in green. Wisdom. There's wisdom now. A wisdom that wasn't there before. It's like a boy to a man, you know? A boy to a man. Okay. So we have the Five of Cups. And then the hanged man. The hanging man. Okay. Now right away, we have the divine feminine energy mirroring the king of coins, right? She's finding her strength, she's transforming, she's facing her demons, he's awakening, he's figuring out where ego has to go and now he has to lead with his heart, he has to heal, he is becoming one with the universe, right? Now, with the Five of Swords here mirroring the Divine Feminine Energy, we've got the Divine Masculine, he has, he has gone through What's happened to him now with this Five of Swords energy is because the feminine is doing the work. He's faced the loss and now he's transforming through it and he's going without, he's shedding, he's becoming stronger. It's, it is happening. Whoever I'm connecting to and whoever I'm resonating with, remember there are waves of twin flames there are people that are on different paths at different times. So if this is resonating with you, this message is for you. If you are resonating with my readings, then these messages are for you. If you're not, then I'm sorry. Thank you for being here. And I hope you find whatever it is that you're looking for, okay? But yeah, this divine masculine is, is it's incredible. I love the hangman in this deck because he is not hanging from anything. He has worked on himself so much that he is actually in that stance. Over top of the water. And I mean with the gears over like it's just there's so much symbolism in this card of where they're at, what they're doing, how they're connecting with the universe. I 
like even that 11 there is again in the hangman the portal right the opening the gates the gates are open the high priestess mirroring the devil here with the feminine energy and the masculine we've got the high priestess darkness into darkness the key to all my mystery that says a perfect and we're speaking of pillars Awakening, 11-11 synchronicities. The moon, just having the full moon in Cancer. They have plunged into their darkness. They are healing. They are turning on the lights in the darkness. It's happening. They're connecting to their divine feminines there. The divine masculine energy connects to the divine feminine energy in the darkness. Especially when you're in separation, doing the work and you are purifying. That's where you guys are really connecting. That's where he's really understanding and finding the keys to who The divine feminine really is to him or her understanding what this relationship really is and what it really means and the light like the light of the prism the the chakras lit the chakras lit even between the two energies connecting It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Freeing themselves from the devil energy as well, the divine feminine has done the same. Wow. You twin flames who I'm connecting with, this is incredible. And I know I've been facing my darkness. I've faced it like I have never faced it before. And the little crumbs that are left over, I shed all the light on them as much as I could. And I know I'll always have to keep going and growing and learning. I'm never perfect. We're never perfect. We're human, right? But it feels good to end a cycle and really face your fears. Chariot. King of Wands, okay, Cherry. And at the bottom of the deck, Three of Cups, celebration everybody, celebration, happy new year, happy freaking new year, happy new year. All right. Happy new year. Happy New Year. Happy 2019. Seriously. Now. The Divine Feminine. Because she has applied sun energy and balanced herself out, balanced her yin and yang. The divine masculine is healing, moving forward, connecting with her in the darkness, healing, purging. He's moving forward. And I love in this deck, it is the horses are both white. 
So he's got double power right now. He's got double power. He is moving forward. He's go If he's not feeling good about himself yet, he's going to be feeling better about himself. And that's what we want. As a divine feminine, and I switch back and forth between the energies sometimes, yes, but I'm a divine feminine for the most part. I, I want him to heal. I want him to move forward. I want the best for him. Do I miss him? Yes, because we're in separation and we're both cleansing our karma and working on that so we can be together. Of course, yes. But I want this for him because this is what makes him whole. This is what makes him him. And if he's not him, he can't be with me. And if I'm not me, I can't be with him. Now, this is very important because we have the four of wands here and the chariot here. And now we have the chariot here. So both energies are very close to being in alignment with each other. Right? And then we have got the three of cups here with the two of cups here and the palace of wands, right? And to me, that says a lot. This is the place where the palace of wands is the place where the passionate beginning is going to start. The firepower is really going to be applied. And really, that's because the Divine Feminine did this with the King of Wands, right? The King of Wands energy. And that was really getting in control of her emotions or his emotions. Um, becoming more left-brained if that needed to be. And really moving away from this. This is the key. This is really the key to ending out 2018. Bye bye. It's the key. It's the key to this. Yeah. I mean, I want to celebrate. I want to celebrate 2019. And ring that in and uh, be thankful. Be grateful. Now, let's see what is being activated between the two energies. This New Year's, this New Year's Eve. Oh, open your heart. Literally just flicking, came out on my heart. Open, open your heart. And you can see the divine feminine energy connecting with the divine masculine, the moon, the swan, the mountain that we all must climb, right? Our own personal mountain within. Open your heart. The truth of our world, nature, and environment is love. This is eternal love that makes no demands, has no expectations, and does not place limits or conditions on us. There is an opportunity for each and every person to experience love at this deepest level if they are willing to be open. Love can will flow into your heart, but only if you allow it. It will change your perception, nurture and hold you, and even give you the strength to endure hardship. Take a moment, open your heart, and allow love to bring you joy, serenity, renewed energy, passion, and total unrelenting happiness. No matter what's happening, no matter where your twin flame is, whether you're in separation, whether you're together, whether you're fighting, and going through hard times 
remember that you do love them. Remember you are, you are unconditional love and we need to be that for everyone, for everyone all around us, right? Show unconditional love for the planet, for the animals, for our loved ones. It actually really fills our cup and our higher self knows that. That's why after we react in a poor manner, we feel so low, it lowers our vibration. And if we can just learn to step back and control our emotions and take a breath and be in the energy of neutral, see what we can learn from that experience because we're always learning from every, every experience, right? Darkness into darkness, the key to all mysteries. That is the key to all mysteries. We are learning through everything, not just happiness. We're learning through dark. We're learning through everything. That's mastering yourself. And using the cycles and taking a break. Self-care. Be self-care, everyone. Now, universe got our back. Universe got our back. Let's see. Let's see how the universe has the twin flames back. The twin flames back. There it is. Okay. All right. The key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. There it is. That's the key. That's the key. That's what the universe is saying. When we are here, the key is to forget what I think I need and allow the universe to deliver me what is even better, what is meant for me. Because just because we think we know doesn't mean we actually do. And as long as we're doing the work, we're going to get there don't give up on yourself please you know the path gets hard but don't give up on yourself okay i love you all and thank you for joining me here it's been great i'm excited i'm going to be doing a reading for 2019 for sure and have much more to come some lessons and some sun sign readings Thank you everyone, take care and enjoy. Happy New Year and Happy New Year's Eve.